Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will learn how to add icons to button. So for this, we have multiple options. We can use Font Awesome or Google's Material Icons or Image Tags to add icon. Let's try an example to understand it better. Let's say we've got these buttons. So I've got three buttons here and their styles. Now let's try using Font Awesome. So open a new tab and search for Font Awesome. Click on this first link. Click on this button, start for free. Enter your email ID here. Let's say cafeadroidgmail.com. Send kit code. It will ask you to confirm your email. So do that. So guys, once you verify your email, this is how it should look. Just copy this kit code and paste it here in your HTML's head. Then you can simply start searching for icons. You say, uh, let's say we want to search for Facebook icon. So search for it here. Select one icon, let's say this one. Just click on this button, start using this icon. Copy it. And let's say we want to add that icon here, so just paste it next to your label. Save it and coming back here. And as you can see, we've got this font awesome icon here. Now let's say we want some space between Facebook and the logo. So let's wrap our the label in a span. Let's give it a class because we have to do this for other icons as well. So let's say label, let's save it. Let's give it some styles here. Let's say padding left, eight pixels. And now as you can see, we've got the Facebook logo with some space and then Facebook label. Similarly, let's try adding for Google. Let's search Google here. Let's select this icon. Just copy this code, click here, and paste it next to your label. Also, we need to give some styles to Google, so let, let's just wrap it in a span. And use the class that we just created. So class, label. So as you can see, we've got the Google icon here. It takes a lot of time sometimes. Sometimes it takes a little time to load. Similarly, let's try adding for GitHub. Let's say we want to use this one. Copy the code, paste it here, add a span element because we want to add some more styles to this label. Let's say class label. Let's save it, coming back here. Now, as you can see, we've got this logo as well. So we've got label for Facebook, Google, and GitHub. So as you can see, these logos, they are white right now. So you wanted to change the color. So if you change the color of the button, let's say dark red. So even the color of these icons change. Similarly, let's say you wanted something light, say light coral. So the color of your icons also change. So whatever color you specify for your button or whatever element is wrapping your icon, that color will be used for your icon. Similarly, let's try using an image. So let's just search for Google icon here. Google icon PNG. Images. So copy image address. So instead of font awesome, let's try using the image tag here. So it requires a source attribute. So let's just paste our URL here and alt text. Let's say Google icon. Let's save it. 
coming back here and as you can see we've got a really big google icon so let's change that let's give this an id say google logo let's add some styles so hash google logo let's give it a width and height say 20 pixels and height 20 pixels let's save it so coming back here and now as you can see we've got our icon inside the button all right that's all for today guys if there's something that you did not understand feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it see you in the next video bye and take care